Hi, my name's Kirsty. I'm from Little Bee Accessories. Uh, the reason I'm doing this vlog today is because I'm taking part in the fourth knitting crochet blog challenge. Um, this is the first time I've ever made a video blog. I'm not sure if it'll be the last, if I'm completely honest. The reason I'm doing the vlog is because day five of the challenge is to do something completely different from what you're used to. And uh, basically, I'm used to doing the written blog with a couple of added pictures. Never made a video, well, never made a vlog video, video. And um, so I thought, why not do this as my challenge? Because it's a little bit more out of my comfort zone as well, so it really is a challenge. Basically, um, if you don't know anything about the the challenge itself. It's for knitters and crocheters and I'm assuming any like really big craft. Uh, basically we take to the internet for a week and do a blog every day with a specific challenge, a specific topic and specific tags so that we can find each other within the boundaries of the, ex the expansive internet really. So today's tag is 4KC I forget, forgotten already. 4KCBW day 4. So, day 5, sorry. So, basically, I've got a couple of things really to show because I haven't got anything to really plan for this video, and I like it that way because if I over plan things, they don't tend to go very well. So, I'm just going to wing it. So, here's the first thing really uh, knitting and crochet isn't the only craft I actually do. So, here's the first one. Um, I do a bit of spinning. I firstly started out with a Kiwi, an Ashford Kiwi spinning wheel. That was the first one I ever got. Then I got a country spinner. Didn't really take to that one too well. Then I got a little Peggy, Peggy spinning wheel, which was lovely. But again, I didn't have her for very long. And now finally, I now have a Ashford Joy, which is amazing because I get to take it anywhere. So this, these were two of the first yarns I ever spun. They're both merino, uh, just plied with different colours of merino. There's nothing overly special about them really. Uh, they were some of the first ones I spun so they're really kind of practice yarns. Um, I still like them though, they're very unique. Um, not thought of a project for either of them, I just kind of have them sitting around as a decoration quite a colourful decoration actually and quite unique. Uh, the next thing I've got, the other two fell on the floor, um, next thing I got is one of my first ever crochet projects, my wee square bear. I love this guy, he's brilliant, he's really really colourful, I think it kind of kind of fits the whole house of bee which I've picked as my blog challenge because it's quite colourful, it's quite eye catching and distracting and stuff so this wee guy is just a wee square crocheted together, some stuffing on the inside, some safety eyes, a wee bit of crochet eyes and some lovely wee crochet ears which one bends forward and one bends back for some strange, bizarre reason. Um, my next project fell on the floor, so please excuse me. I took up hammer beads for, uh, for quite a while actually, I still, still do them but not as much. I tend to chop and change between craft. For some reason they seem to be aimed at kids but I'm 22 and I still find them really fun. Really annoying though if you nudge them and all the beads go flying off. But that's something completely different. You can make a whole range of different things like I made my neighbour Totoro as in just the figure Totoro. Um, I love Studio Ghibli so I thought I'd just do all things geeky really. So that's Totoro with a wee leaf on his head. And then this is Kirby on a moon from the Nintendo games. Um, I made this one purely for myself because I got the name Kirby back in high back in college really, and it stuck with a couple of my friends, so I made that purely for me. Um, my next thing I want to kind of show is some of my charm bracelets I've made. Personally, I think they're awesome. They're really really quirky. They're very different as well. Um, so this is said charm bracelet. You get a whole different bunch of things on it really. There's 
some different color beads like cracked glass there, acrylic there, faux pearl. Then you get onto the good ones, which is a uh, old pendant, a vintage pendant with a lovely rose on it. Then you've got a not working watch face, so you don't ever have to worry about trying to replace the battery. Then in here, you've got a lovely vintage bow brooch, which has been secured so you'll never get stabbed. Well, shouldn't. Tiny little angel figure, a wee angel charm, which I think is really lovely. Then you've got like an amicist gem, which I think, I love amicist, I think it's a brilliant gem. A wee tiny leaf and a wee button, so that's that one. And then I made myself one purely, it's very unique, very me I think, it's got a whole bunch of different things on it. you got a wee old badge I've had on a jacket for years, an old watch face, that's not really anything to do with me at all, I just really liked it. <laughs> My old befriending badge from from school, which if anyone from school sees this, I genuinely forgot to hand it back in. Um, my old wicker charm that was on, well, old wicker pendant that my uncle got me, the, the pendant, the necklace broke. Then here are two crafting ones, that's uh, knitting one there and then a pair of scissors. These are completely safe, you can jab them off your hand, they'll not hurt anyone, they'll definitely not cut you. Then I really love animals, and this is really the only animal one I can find, it's a wee elephant, it's lovely though. And I've got this thing for old lockets, so I put a wee old locket in mine. And lastly, to show, I do do, do do, <laughs> I do do some knitting, I do a lot of knitting actually. And my recent project is the Queen of Hearts, have I got that round the runway? No, that's the right way. Queen of Hearts shawl, which you can get free off of Ravelry. It's a lovely pattern. Um, I have this thing for shawls where I hate plain knitting, the rows and rows and rows and rows and rows, and then the patterns right around the bottom. I prefer ones that I can keep busy doing the whole way. So I like the Queen of Hearts for that reason. Although I got a wee bit mi mixed up from here to here, which is chart two of the project. And then I got even more messed up when I was sending A and E and tried to do chart three. Never ever work on a lace pattern if you're sitting in A and E worrying like hell because you will mess up and then you'll never want to touch it again because I haven't touched mine in about a week. And it's gonna stay that way until I can regain my courage to rip back about five rows. And last time I ripped back lace, it did not end well. I had to start all over again. That was about 30 rows. So, I hope you liked my first ever video vlog. I feel I have achieved my challenge for the day. Slightly cheated because today is technically day four. The only reason I'm doing it a day early is because I'm going to be out all day tomorrow. I am going to go see Iron Man 3, yay! And I'm going for dinner with my boyfriend, so I'll be out all day. And I really want to post on the right day, so I thought at least if I post on the right day, the video could be a day early, sort of. So please excuse if I is a day early. Um, don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you for watching, and if you do hear a strange noise in the background, that is my bunny rabbit, who I'll introduce you to right now. This is Oko. She is currently hiding in her wee house that we just got her the other day. So this is Oko. She is about eight, nine months old now. She is a wee sweetheart, unless she bites you, in which case she's not a sweetheart anymore. Hmm? Hello. And I think we'll close her cage now because she's probably going to reckon it's time to get out and it's not. So say goodbye Oko and goodbye from me. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye Oko. Bye bye.